hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you how i got this victoria's secret fashion show inspired makeup and hair look if you want to see how i got the look then please continue to watch this video we're going to start off by uh styling our hair to achieve that very loose voluminous kind of like that victoria's secret sexy hair and what I'm gonna do is take my hair, I'm gonna grab my curling iron. The curling iron that I'm using is by Golden Hot and I'm gonna grab small sections of my hair and curl it away from my face. And I'm just munching on my cookie while my hair curls. Now to create more volume with my hair, what I'm going to do is curl my hair with some curl pins. So I just put my finger in between the hair and then I'll just use the hair pins to um, secure. If you don't have uh, curling pins, you can just use bobby pins to keep the curl secure. And we're pretty much going to follow the same steps throughout. So this is very repetitive, so I'm going to speed up the video a bit. So some of my hair I will be curling it under and some of it I'll be curling it away from my face. Now we're gonna move on to makeup. So while my hair is curling, I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. And the first thing I'm gonna do is apply a primer all over my face. And the primer that I'm using today is by Cover Effects. So it's the Illuminating Primer. And this primer is absolutely perfect because it's going to give, that, give our skin a very nice luminous glow. Moving on to foundation, I'm gonna use the Cover Effects Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation, and this one is in the shade N70. I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender sponge to apply the foundation all over my face. So I'm gonna grab one of my favorite concealer. I've been using this one for a while now. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I'm just gonna use it to highlight certain areas of my face, so under my eyes, uh, my forehead, down my nose, and this one is in the shade NC42. To apply the concealer, I'm using a flat foundation brush, and the brush is by Real Techniques. Next, I'm gonna go in with a damp beauty blender sponge just to blend out the concealer. To set the highlighted areas, I'm gonna use the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana. Now to dust away all the excess powder because we don't need this on our face, I'm gonna use a big powder brush. I believe this one is from Sonia Kashak. Now for this look, I'm not gonna go too strong with my contour because the Victoria's Secret models, they didn't really have a strong contour, but their face was nice and bronze and they had a bit of contour to them. So I'm gonna use the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Mocha. I pretty much use this as to contour my face. So I apply it in the hollows of my cheek along my forehead area. So it's really perfect for contouring, but you wanna be really careful with it because you wanna go too crazy and then you have too much product on your face and then it ends up looking like mud because that is not cute. <laughs> To set the foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Illuminator Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Medium. And I'm just gonna take a big powder brush just to apply it all over. And then I'm gonna go in with the MAC Fix Blue Spray just to refresh in the skin. Okay, you guys, so I thought I filled in my brows on camera, but I lost that clip and I apologize for that, but I have so many videos where I fill in my brows. So I'm just gonna move on to the eye and I already did one eye off camera. So right now what I'm doing is applying a base to my eyelid and I'm actually using the MAC Pro Long Wear all over my eyelid and I use it as a primer for my eyes. Next, I'm gonna take my favorite blending brush. This is the Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just gonna apply the eyeshadow caramel from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Miami palette. And I'm gonna place that right above the crease. It is perfect for a transition color. It's gonna look really nice when we add the other eyeshadows. And by the way, guys, this is a really, really simple, easy look to achieve because the Victoria's Secret models, they didn't really have a lot going on with the eyes. They kept it really neutral and very simple. 
So I'm gonna take the black opal uh, dual eyeshadow. This is Tawny Tees, and I'm gonna use a warm brown shade, and I'm just gonna place that right under where we placed the caramel, so right in the crease. Next, I'm gonna take a champagne shade eyeshadow, and I'm just going to apply this all over the eyelid. The eyeshadow that I'm using is also from Black Opal, and this one is called the Dusky Dust. <laughs> dusky glow duo eyeshadow set and yeah I'm just gonna use a blending brush just to lightly uh, apply that all over my eyelid to add a bit of shimmer to the eyeshadow I'm gonna use one of my favorite eyeshadows that I've been loving a lot lately and it's by ColourPop this one is in the shade halo and it's one of their super shock shadow and I'm just gonna lightly apply that with my finger on my eyelid Moving on to liner, I'm going to take a L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner and I'm just going to apply that on my top lash line. So I'm not going to make a dramatic thick liner, I'm just going to make a really nice small wing liner. And you guys, and you guys, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that I was not even in frame and I was looking down and you guys weren't able to see the liner. So I apologize for that. Next, I'm gonna curl my teeny tiny lashes and then I'm gonna apply some mascara. And the mascara that I'm using is by Ico and it's in Black Magic. And to add a bit of volume to my lashes, I'm going to apply some falsies to this look as well. I'm using the Demi Wispies from Ardell. After applying false lashes, I always like to go back over and just reapply my liner. And I'm using a liquid liner to do this. I'm using the NYC liquid liner and this is just going to help to hide the lash strip. To brighten up the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to apply the loose pigment in the shade and Naked. Next, I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to apply the eyeshadow glisten from Anastasia Beverly Hills along my bottom lash line. Okay, so I am completely obsessing over the NYX Baked Blush. They are so gorgeous and they are illuminators as well. This one is in the shade uh, Pink Fetish, so I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheek. And to add a bit of glow to my skin, I'm going to use another blush as well. It's also from NYX Cosmetics. And this one is in the shade Full On Femme. I absolutely love this blush. It's a really light pink, but it gives more of like a, it's kind of like a light pink highlighter. It's so pretty. And because the Victoria's Secret models always have a really nice glow to their skin, I'm going to use one of my favorite highlighter that is no longer available. And as you can see, mine is like almost finished. This is MAC Whisper of Guilt. So I'm just going to apply it to the highest point of my cheekbones. And I also place it right above my brows, down my nose, and it's going to give my skin a really nice glowy finish. For the lips, we're going to keep it really soft and pretty, so I'm going to line my lips first using one of my favorite lip pencil, and this is Cork by MAC. And I'm completely obsessing with the colored rain glass pots. Love them. And this one is a soft baby pink. It's in the shade Mary Jane. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lips with a lip brush. And just to finish off the lips, I'm going to add some gloss to this. I'm using Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Michelle. Now this is pretty much the completed makeup look. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. It's really soft, really pretty, easy to achieve. And we're gonna move on to the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my curl clips and just brush my hair. And yeah, this is pretty much the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please thumb this video up if you like, and I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. And thank you all for watching. And please drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.